Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Madhu Azad and in this video I am going to discuss about the medicines or the homeopathic medicine used in diarrhea in kids. So when you have diarrhea, when the kids have diarrhea, there are so many medicines in homeopathy which are indicated and we must know in which state and in what type of stools these remedies are indicated. So let's start. First we are going to talk about podophyllum. So when to prescribe a podophyllum? So in podophyllum the stools are watery very profuse and the diarrhea is happening in summertime and during dentition. The stools can be yellow and green and it is offensive. So when the diarrhea is profuse, watery and there is no pain also, painless diarrhea. So we suggest podophyllum. The next remedy is calcarea fos. In calcarea fos, the diarrhea is during dentition and the stools are very offensive and with flatus. We call it spluttering diarrhea, green offensive spluttering diarrhea. The stools are green, it has mucus and they are slimy and the undigestive food particles are also there in calcarea fox. Next is chamomilla. This is the remedy for anger, it is an anger remedy. The child is very irritable. The stools are green like uh, spinach and it has uh, something like chopped uh, eggs and with mucus. So offensive stools. The child is in pain and it is very irritable because of the pain and is very angry. Then we prescribe chamomilla. Another comes remedy, ethusa. Ethusa is a remedy when there is prominent vomiting along with diarrhea. It is also happening during the dentition when the child's teeth are erupting and there is a, the milk is not digested properly. The vomiting is in the curdled form. There is pain before the stool, the child complains of the pain, then he goes back and then he goes to the past the stools and with the vomiting and there is extreme drowsiness. In Ethusa, there is extreme drowsiness also. So along with vomiting and diarrhea, there is extreme drowsiness and pain. In Maccab, Maccab is also a, uh, is prescribed in patients where there is painful stools. The stools are, the patient is complaining of pain before the stool and the stools are green and frothy like scum pond like the scum of the frog pond it's very green and with the mucus so the pain is covered in chamomilla also and maccab also but in chamomilla the stools are watery but in maccab the stools are green and with mucus and we can have blood in the stools also in maccab in the arsenic album Next comes the remedy, arsenic album. In arsenic album, there is food poisoning. The cause of the diarrhea is food poisoning. The child has must uh, taken his dirty hands into the mouth. It has taken dirty toys into the mouth. And uh, important is restlessness. The child is in very severe pain. He is tossing and turning about. He is very restless. And there is extreme prostration. He is very tired. The stools can be of any type. Watery, with mucus and with... It's like dirty color or any type of stools and there is vomiting also and the diarrhea and vomiting comes even after least eating and drinking now is the very important is the thirst of the arsenic the child is drinking uh, water in sips in small small sips so we have food poisoning in arsenic we have uh, increased thirst in sips there is restlessness and there is prostration in arsenic and there is pain and next comes the remedy phosphorus. In phosphorus, there is profuse involuntary blood stools. The stools have blood, and those are involuntary, this pain also. And along with the stools, these are watery and they have sago like particles in the stools, the lumps of the mucus. Phosphorus is a hemorrhagic remedy, so there is blood in the stools also. One more important thing this diarrhea and vomiting comes after just just after eating and drinking the child is taking food and it is just coming out so the vomiting is as soon as he eats something it goes in the stomach and it's coming out so this is the kind of diarrhea for phosphorus next come the croton tigrium the gun shot diarrhea in croton tigrium you can say gun shot diarrhea and uh, it happens during stools there is lots of expulsion the diarrhea is watery and it is spluttering and it is aggravated by least drinking and eating Next comes room. How we remember room from the sourness. There is sourness from all over the body of the baby. There is extreme sourness in the stools of the baby. 
and the stools are pasty they are slimy and there is pain the child is in pain and he is shivering from the pain also and this is also very good remedy for diarrhea during dentition in macaw there is pain in uh, camomilla there is pain and in dream there is pain and how to differentiate in camomilla we have anger we have extreme irritability in macaw the stools are extremely green green and with mucus but in room the stools are pasty and dark brown in color next comes the remedy veratrum album it is a very important remedy because uh, the stools are rice watery and profuse and it leads to exhaustion the child is extremely exhausted because of the stools it is in the collapsed state and the child extremities their hands and legs are icy cold this is a condition when there is severe dehy dehydration in the person in the baby so this is the remedy when you have the collapsed state the extremities are cold and there is a cold sweat the next remedy is aloes aloes is indicated when there is urgency for the stools the child is running to the stool and there is lots of flatus there is rumbling sound in the in the abdomen before going to the stool the stool are yellow with mucus and they can be bloody also so here's most of the remedies important commonly used remedies indicated in the diarrhea in kids so and for the potency we can use any potency depending upon the severity and the age of the child and to decide which potency is to be given contact your nearest homeopath or you can consult me also by sending the message on my whatsapp number and thank you so much bye bye